Okay, uh, today we're going to do a uh, little demonstration of PSK31, which is a digital mode of uh, ham radio here in the shack. Um, my last video was just a tour, but uh, just to recap real quick, uh, this is an IC7000 uh, VHF, UHF, HF, 163.6 meter uh, transceiver. Uh, this here is a Palstar AT2K 2000 kilowatt antenna tuner. Up here is just an uh, antenna switch uh, by Alpha Delta, uh, really good switches. Over here we have a GS800 uh, rotor by Yesu. Here is going to be the rotator for the 6 meter beam. Here is an Altec WM1 uh, meter, really sensitive, uh, very accurate meter. Uh, and here is a uh, home patrol uh, trunk tracker or scanner. Uh, works really well. It's working off of a uh, disco antenna at the moment. Okay, and here we have an FT950 Yesu transceiver. Uh, over here, a Maritron AL80B 1 kilowatt uh, amplifier. Over here, we have the SB221 2 kilowatt amplifier. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, set up for PSK, and I'll be right back and we'll um, give you a little uh, show of what it's like. Okay. Okay, so basically everything's set up now. Uh, if you'll notice, uh, right now I have loaded uh, Ham Radio Deluxe. It's the software that I use to control the rig, and it's on 20 meters, uh, 14070, which is a very popular uh, digital uh, frequency. Um, anyway, so that's connected to my rig, and uh, over here uh, you'll notice a uh, signal link USB. Basically this is a uh, sound card interface for your computer that uh, basically um, generates the tone for your, your um, you know the software is going to generate the amplitude and the phase modulated waveform and then it's going to be converted into an audio frequency uh, analog signal by the sound card. Some people use their own sound card and that's fine too. Uh, I just use this because it's easier and it's portable uh, and it just kind of hooks right up. If you'll notice here, I have a cord that, that runs out here, a jack. RS-232 comes down and plugs into here, the back of the FT-950. And then uh, here we have the USB that runs along actually and connects over here to this side. And then actually the connection from the transceiver here the uh, serial uh, over here to serial to USB which is plugged in right there. Okay, so uh, we'll notice that uh, the rig is also set to 14070. So we'll load up the DM780, the Digital Master 780. Uh, that's what I use. I uh, like that a lot. Some people, have, everyone has their own software. So uh, we'll turn this up. And it looks like we have people going now. You can hear signals in the background. see it kind of typing across the screen there. And down here is what we call the waterfall. Uh, this is where all the signals are going to kind of come in here. You can kind of see them there. Uh, the frequency there is what I'm monitoring. I'm a little bit off, so let's go here. Now I'm on. You can see me, uh, the two brackets there. That's a signal. We'll kind of back out a little bit. So this is the waterfall. This is actually being sampled by the uh, by the the signal link. So any audio that comes through that signal link is being processed and you're seeing it here on the waterfall. Each of these are our, all signals. So very narrow bandwidth, uh, but you can squeeze a lot in there. So if we move over here to this one and we move in and we click on it and go up here, we'll see someone uh, typing, I'm sure. Uh, there we go, that's someone else uh, talking about their what they're using. Sorry, it's a little blurry. There it is. So, anyway, and a lot of this is driven by um, by macros. You know, you can use a macro for this or that. You can, it's a lot automated, you know. So there's so many different ways you can use ham radio. Here's someone else coming in next. So I'll move over here, click it, comes up. This is the Wisconsin QSO party. Uh, so he's got a nice strong signal. KC9, K3Q, uh, out of Wisconsin. KZQ, excuse me. The Wisconsin QSO party. So, um, what I also like about it is up here you can get to what's called a uh, the super browser, and all of these signals down here 
are going to actually be decoded uh, quickly by the super browser. So you can see over here we've got a vertical waterfall going that's going horizontal but it's vertical in format. Over here are all those signals, all of these things running across. Every one of those is a contact. And if I wanted to talk to a particular one, like someone calling CQ here, we could just double click on it right there. That takes me to the screen to where I could then go ahead and make contact if I wanted to. So I really like the um, super browser mode there because it uh, kind of gives you a quick overview of, and you can see kind of how the spider web kind of goes in and so that's pretty cool. It's a good feature. And uh, I really like the software, so it works pretty good. So if you're just starting off on PSK, it's a, it's a good good one to cut your teeth on. And I like it. I don't think I'll change. So anyway, I'll just I'll let it sit here for a second, and then we'll go ahead and we'll try to make a, uh, a contact. We'll, we'll try to uh, get this thing going. So. You can also communicate over long distances with this. It's a very narrow band path, but you don't need a lot of power. You don't need a lot of power at all, actually. And if you're using PSK, you don't want any ALC activity at all. You, want, you don't want any type of ALC activity because you don't want to splatter your signal across the band and, and make a bunch of people mad. So just uh, kind of pay attention to that. Uh, so anyway, all right, let's uh, see if we can make a contact. So we had a guy call in uh, CQ a second ago. Now he's gone. Let's go over here and see what we have. Uh, I got a signal here. Let's see if we can make a contact somewhere. Oh, strong signal coming in. Let's see if we can get this guy. Okay, this is a CQ. This is the one that I have, so I'm going to respond to him. Okay. Here we go. He sent in a long signal. There's his signal. Okay, so we're going to let him finish and we're going to respond to him. Here we go. Okay, now it's transmitting. You can see the needle's moving. Okay. Now let's see if he comes back. There's my response to him. Okay, let's see if he comes back. Here he comes. Let's see if he responds. Okay, here he is. Let's see. Now he's going to give me a report. Now he's using a macro for this. And you can set up the macro to do a lot of things. And I'm going to tell him to hang on for a second. And I'm going to respond to him because it takes a while to do it. I don't have my macro set up. But you can see him taking place. There's his signal. Okay, so here's the guy I'm going to contact right here. There's my signal. Okay, right there. The needles. Then here he is. Okay, he's calling CQ there. Let's see if he comes back. Let's see, there's his signal. I'm listening here. See him back yet. See if he comes back. Not yet. Oh, here he goes again. A little bit off. Okay. There's a guy calling CQ. We'll respond to him. That's what the tone sounds like. There I am responding to him. Okay, there I am. Let's see if he comes back. Should come back here. There he goes. Okay, here he is. Missing my T. Okay, let's. Now he's saying thanks for the contact. I'm just going to say 73. Thank you. 
We'll go ahead and transmit that. There it is. There it is transmitting. And there we go on the screen there. 73, thank you. So basically, and uh, that's it. And then that's, uh, that's the Wisconsin uh, QSO party. <clears throat> and then here he is saying having a safe and happy 2013. And there's the signal there. And again, if I were to go to the super browser here, you would then see, um, should see me on there somewhere on the super browser. <laughs> Anyway, so that's PSK-31. It's a very narrow band. It's very good to use. Uh, it goes a long distance. Here's the waterfall again. And um, this is 20 meters, but of course there are lots of different ones. You can see here we've got, um, we've got 15 meters that we could go to. So we could switch to 15 meters. And we can see what's going on in 15 meters. So now we're on 15 meters. Same thing, same uh, procedure, same scenario. Uh, you can then listen to, uh, or decode rather, uh, either individually here, and you have, you can see what's going on here. There's someone, uh, someone there talking. Okay, so again, here are the signals for 15 meters. You also have 10 meters. Now we're on 10 meters. So we see what uh, we have here. There's a narrow band here. Uh, so all the way up, you know, all the way up to 80 meters. So uh, there's lots of different modes. You can see here there's, um, if I can get that in there, PSK, CW, you can see all the different ones, uh, Olivia, Ritty, and all those are different, uh, different modes, you know. And uh, so you can do a whole lot with it. I'm going to go back to 20 meters real quick uh, for this. Uh, let's see. Where the action was. So now we've just switched back to 20 meters. Uh, and again, up here is a lot of the stuff about you, the macros, things like that, your equipment. So a lot of it's 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 uh, it's macro driven. Uh, bottom line. Anyway, uh, and that's about it for the PS.